what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back once again another day same day for me different day for you anyways the walking dead season 10 episode 3 and 4 is here today and i gotta tell you i need some updates man i need to know what's going on with maggie i need to know what's going on with rick jadis those three i need to know what's going on with them um but there seems like a war is on the verge seems like alpha is ready to go back and attack because they crossed the border but we'll see how things go i think our people are ready for a fight if there is a fight but we'll see um as always as the season continues i think so far two episodes and they've done a pretty good job i like how they did that flashback to, to show us how alpha and beta met that was pretty cool to see and also seeing a younger Lydia, um, a younger Lydia, like a little bit older than the flashback we got in season nine of them when her father was still alive. Um, so she was a little bit older, of course, and to see her, that was pretty cool to see that she was like conforming to the way how her mom wanted her to act. But at the same time, you know, plus the 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 um the stuff that is going on within the group, whereas in she was kind of like missing Lydia and stuff like that. But she kind of collected back herself, but also trying to replace Lydia with with Gamma, you know. Um, so that was pretty, you know, these people are not I don't think they're crazy. I just think that they're in their mind, they're adapting to the situation and everybody's going to adapt to an apocalypse in different way not everybody is going to act the same way not everybody is going to to um think that you know what i'm saying like oh we should build communities and stuff not everybody is going to be thinking like that some you know it's just that there's different ways of how people thinking are you saying that they're crazy not necessarily that these people are crazy they are creepy but they are you know what i'm saying they still want something better as you can see they're talking among themselves they're like hey you know what i'm saying they got vegetation and stuff you know what i'm saying veggies you know what i mean they they trying to make it you know they saw that and they kind of wanted it and that's the thing civilization is something that we want as people as humans you want um, civilization you want to live civilized you want to even in an apocalypse you want somewhere to live lay your head at night and lay down with a loved one you want those things still even though there's an apocalypse but they're trying to go away from that which is the whisperers they're like yo the dead are dead we might as well walk among them still not explaining to me as i said before somebody needs to explain to me or if they did send me back to the scene where they explained it because i must have missed it i must have missed it because there's no explanation as to how they're able to do this when i i guess and why you know i'm saying all i have to do is put a mask on and look like them that doesn't seem feasible you get what i'm saying it just doesn't seem <laughs> I'm just saying, it just doesn't seem like it's something that would happen. You know what I'm saying? And the only thing that attract attract them to you is noise. If the only thing that attracts you to the walkers is noise, which we all know is not just noise. It can't be just noise. Because if it's just, unless they're just whittling it down to noise. Before you had to put guts all over you to be able to walk among them. You get what I'm saying? Which is basically that the guts basically me um covering up you know what i'm saying like your smell or if you smell like them i get maybe it is the smell maybe it is a smell i guess it maybe but it's but then but they're not wearing skins for their entire bodies just the face so somebody please explain to me i know you probably guys probably did it already in season nine because i did say it in season nine but in any case thank you guys so much because i know i'm recording this way before you guys are actually seeing it by the time you guys actually see this episode i'm already done catching up with the series so whichever the case anyways see you guys for the review
What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. That was episode 3 and 4 of season 10. And I have to say, man, um, still no update on Rick. And I'm wondering, I'm really wondering now if they're planning to bring back his character. I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe because of what happened. But that made no sense. Maybe he had to go do something. Did he get sick or something in real life or something? I don't know, man. But in any case, these were two two really good episodes. Um, I got pissed off at the fact of how they're treating Lydia. And don't get me wrong, in the context of the show, I understand why they're upset. But that's no reason to take out your rage on a little girl. That girl is still a teenager. She's still a teenager. She's not grown. She's not an adult. She's still a teenager. She's probably me 15, maybe 16 years old. And for grown ass boys to do that, to hold a girl and punch them in the f and punch the girl in the face, bro. How cowardly, how pussy do you have to be to do something like that and then lie about it in the end? Oh my God, man, that shit pissed me off so much. I wanted, I really wanted to scream, but I can't because it's so late at night right now. Um, but in any case, guys, I, I'm really enjoying season 10, um, episode four episodes in, and I think it's going to be a great ride. Um, I don't know when, you know what I'm saying? It, when I catch up to, you know, cause it's only 15 episodes, so when I catch up, I know there's one episode, the finale, that didn't come out, right? That didn't come out because of COVID and stuff like that. So for me, you know what I mean? Like, I'll be in the same boat as y'all, you know, as waiting for that once I get to that episode. Of course, that episode is probably going to be a standalone. Or I might do 13, 14, and 15 together. I don't know yet. But I'll let you guys know for sure, for sure, if if um, if that's a decision that I make later on when I get to episode 12, then I'll do all then I'll let you guys know if that's what I'm going to do um, for that, for those episodes, because I might just do all three together um, to not leave 15 by itself. Um, so, yeah, man, I'm looking forward to seeing more from The Walking Dead. Um, you know, the whispers are out here playing games. Um, we don't know if they're attacking or not. And that's the thing. I think they are, but at the same time, I think they're not. Um, the thing where they're talking about Lydia, um, keeping her has a bargaining chip, you know, as long as they keep her safe, the mom won't attack. I think that's bullshit. I don't think that woman gives a shit about her daughter anymore. I think she kind of throw that in the garbage, um, from the fact that, you know, from episode two, where we saw her you know, kick down all that stuff she was preparing just in case Lydia came back or in memory of her, whatever, the the shrine she made to Lydia. She kicked it all down and I, and now I think they're they're figuring some things out to come to get ready for an attack. So I'm getting ready for an attack, okay? Um in any case, um, you know, things are progressing nicely throughout the season. Negan left he left because they were trying to make a decision if they should kill him or not. Like, bruh, as you guys know, throughout the, you know, season nine, I told you guys, I love the fact that they're creating a redemption arc for Negan. Yes, it might not be agreeable. Negan has done some terrible things, killed two characters, one, two characters that I liked in the show, major characters in the show. And it was terrible. It was a terrible time. I hated the dude. For a long time, just like everybody else. But does Negan deserve a second chance just like everybody else? Yes, he does. And yes, that might be wishful thinking. For me, um, a lot of stuff that you hear me say, you know, is how I really do think in real life. You get what I'm saying? Not just in the context of the show. A lot of times you hear me say stuff is because of stuff that I believe in. I believe that people who, who, who does heinous crimes should rot in prison and not be executed. I don't believe executing someone in the streets, um, it does not make the world a better place. People, 
you, you people just don't understand that is not what is going to make the world a better place because you eliminated someone who um did heinous things you get what i'm saying like i'm not saying that people people who has died didn't deserve it you get what i'm saying i'm just saying just like how that person is is shouldn't have you you get what i'm saying like if you're in defense of yourself which is the argument that everybody always brings up to me is like oh so i can't kill even if i'm defending of course my guy of course if somebody is attacking you you should defend yourself if you happens to kill the person it's self-defense if you kill a person in self-defense then it's fine but if you if somebody does something to you and you go out in revenge and kill that person it is not self-defense you just murdered someone okay you just murdered someone it is not justified because they kill somebody who was close to you or whatever the situation is you get what i'm saying no matter what it is i don't care if i don't care if it's rape murder i don't care what it is that that person did i don't care what it is and that's just my stance on it you get what i'm saying and don't believe that people as people in my family has never been raped or um, people hasn't killed people in my family and shit like that of course you're angry in the moment but should i take up a gun and go kill the person even if you know what i'm saying even though i know who it is no let the law do what it's supposed to do you know what i mean that's just my stance on things i think yes people can talk about prison systems all they want and oh, prisons are overcrowded. We need to kill some of them. You know, that way of thinking is always like that until it's somebody in your family that's on death row. Are you going to be like, well, he shouldn't have done it? No. I don't look at things like that because when you look at things from an objective point of view, you know, if, if the law applies to that person, why shouldn't it apply to you? You get what I'm trying to say? Why why if you take revenge the law doesn't apply to you? Why why do you feel like what you did is not murder? You get what I'm saying? Why do you feel like you you know what I mean? Um some people's going to look at it. They're going to say, "Oh, turn the other cheek." No, it's not turning the other cheek. That is not what turning the other cheek is. A lot of people have a misconception about what that means and why that was written in the Bible. It's it's it, turning the other cheek is not allowing people to do wrong and get away with it. That's not what turning the other cheek is. You get what I'm saying? So my opinion of Negan is is very I've said it multiple times. I believe that he has changed. I'm not saying that people treating him a certain way is not warranted. I'm just saying that the the chances that he's given you know being outside and stuff like that i'm happy for that you get what i'm saying i'm happy that he's not that person anymore that person is a person right now who believes in what rick wanted in what carl wanted you know what i'm saying and that was the turning point the letter was the turning point you know what i'm saying um him you know he still is an asshole in certain ways don't get me wrong stuff that he says he doesn't need to say but that's him you know what i'm saying some people says you know something is broken in him i believe so too you get what i'm saying i believe something is broken within within him but he's actively trying to change is a reason why there's a prison so you can so you can um advocate for reform right that is what prison is for the people that you let back out into society you're advocating for reform you want them to change so that they don't do whatever they were doing when they went for what whatever they did to go to prison right so you want that reform you want prison reform you want people to change right do we write off addicts hmm? we don't write them off we send them to whatever it is and let and get them help right so I believe not everybody can be helped, but we still got to try to help everybody. <laughs> that's just how it is. Yeah, I might sound like a tree hugger and all I want is peace. Really, that's all I want in life is just peace, man. Peace. Let's just love on each other, man. 
you know what I mean but in any case guys that is it for me that is my review um, I had some strong opinions there I know some of you guys are going to disagree but that's that's all good you know what I'm saying I'm not gonna stop speaking my mind or my opinion on things and all your opinions are welcome and you know it's just what it is and some people might look at me and say you're naive well I guess that's just what it is <laughs> you know I just I love peace man I just I love people and I just want to see people strive and I and because I've had so many second chances in life I believe anybody everybody is entitled to one or two <laughs> you know what I'm saying anyways thank you guys so much remember to like the video and remember to leave a comment Superboy Terabyte reacts I'll catch you guys later man peace